Welcome to Drink of the Day with Wes. My name is Wes, and today I've got a very special video for y'all. For all you coffee lovers, we're drinking into the cold, cold weather. And me, I love coffee. I've already made several coffee videos, but today we're going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make French press, or well, make coffee using a French press. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get started. And to make, your French, to make the perfect cup of French press coffee, you're going to need, of course, a French press, a digital weighing scale, and a gooseneck kettle. You can either make this coffee using pre-ground coffee like what I'm going to be doing here, or you can grind your own beans. I'll save that for a later video. Right now, I've been playing around with pre-ground coffee. So that's what the video that I'm going to be making is how to, how to make it and the proper set of steak to get that perfect cup of coffee. So the first thing you're going to do, or well, what I do, is I got me a digital gooseneck kettle. And we'll turn it on. And it's got a couple of options here on select temperatures. We're going to hit coffee. It'll heat. For three minutes, it's going to heat the water up to the precise temperature for coffee, which is 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're going to do now is while that's heating up, we're going to turn on our scale. We're going to zero it out. And we're going to measure out our coffee. I'm going to do 20 grams of coffee. And these measuring spoons measure out 7 grams per scoop. So we're going to add it. Okay. Okay, right now we're at 11. All right, we're at 20. For, for, for using a French press, I re, um, you want to use a coarsely, uh, coarsely, coarse grind. You can do that with pre-ground coffee like this, or you can grind your own beans. You want to do a coarse grind. And I recommend do either a light roast or a medium roast. Don't do a dark roast. What's going to happen while the coffee is brewing using the French press, it get, it's going to give the coffee more depth, more body, and it's actually going to taste like dark roast coffee. So, if you use dark roast coffee, it's actually going to defeat the purpose. So, either get you a light roast or medium roast, just whatever you want to do. So, what we're going to do is, I got 20 grams of coffee. The water gets done, and we'll do a good starting ratio. It's one gram of coffee. For 15 grams of water. We're going to do 20 grams of coffee. So that's going to be 300 grams of water. But you can adjust that to your liking, your tasting. If you want it stronger, if you want it a little weaker, it's up to you. Alright, the water's about done heating up. We're going to go ahead and zero out the scale. This is the third time I've used my French press. I got it I got it last week and I absolutely love it. So if you like me and you love coffee and you've never tried, used the French press before, I highly recommend it. It's a great way to make coffee. It's a great gives you a great coffee experience. And you can have some fun with it. Water's about done heating up and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, it dings three times, it has shut itself off, so now we're ready to add the water. Like I said, zero out the food scale. I'm going to take my gooseneck kettle, and we're going to do 300 grams of water. I'm going to make sure I saturate the entire ground with water so it makes an even, even extraction. Mmm, smells great. One thing you can do that I ain't doing here is you can preheat your beaker. It's a way to maintain the temperature. It's a good, you can do that when you first start using your French press. You don't have to, but it's just whatever you want to do. Okay, we reached 300 
grams right on the dot. So that's all we're going. That's all we're going to do from there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the timer, and we're going to let it set for four minutes. You can go ahead and pause it. Yeah. We have reached a two minute mark. So what we're going to do is you'll notice crust starts to form on top of the uh, uh, on top of the coffee so we'll do is take you the spoon and just lightly stir it and what this is going to do is break the crust up make most of the grounds and particles fall to the bottom just do that a couple times all right and let's sit for the remaining four minutes four minutes is an appropriate time to let the coffee sit get a nice even extraction like i said this what the French press does is it gives you a nice full body cup of coffee. So light, medium roast work perfectly. If you can, if you can, I highly recommend grind your own beans. If not, pre-grown coffee will work. I will be doing another video later on in the future where I'm going to grind my own beans. But right now I'm going to do pre-ground coffee. So we got a minute to go. Smells great. You can go ahead and pause it. Alright, got it? You feeling? Alright. We've reached the we have reached the two minute we have reached the four minute mark, so now we're ready to plunge our coffee. What we're gonna do is add our plunger. You can also use a filtration, it's a filtration device. We're going to push it just on top of the coffee. We're not going to plunge it all the way because all that's going to do is stir up, agitate the grounds that have already flowed to the bottom. So now we are ready to pour our coffee. So gently. And this is enough for one full cup of coffee. So plunge down slowly. I love I love afternoon coffee. Okay. Nice little cup of coffee right there. Got some body to it. Smells great. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, beautiful. It's got good flavor. Got a good body to it. Nice texture. But for me, I don't drink my coffee straight black, so I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to it. One thing about French press coffee is I don't recommend drinking it every day or all the time because it is unfiltered coffee. It's, good. it's, one, of those, it's one of those types of coffee that's good for every now and then whenever you're, you're wanting something different. But something like drip coffee, using a coffee pot, drink you know, every day. But French press is good for every now and then. Or just whenever you're feeling like doing something different. There's many ways to make coffee. Many great ways to make coffee. And this right here, using French press, delivers a beautiful, delicious cup of coffee. And it's fun to do from having, well, a great French, a good French press, an accurate weighing scale, and a gooseneck kettle. I recommend getting a digital one. So there we have our uh, perfect cup of French press made coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. My name is Wes and using the French press was my drink of the day. And y'all just have a great night, great weekend. And we'll see you next time. God bless you.